All right, what's up, people? Today, I'm working on my silver NA. Her name is Sally, and uh, Sally's fixing to get a one-piece drive shaft so I can take the drive shaft out of her and put it in my black slick top because the rear part of it's uh, pretty messed up. So, hopefully this doesn't take, take long. I'm going to go ahead and show you, just all i got to do is remove the exhaust and then remove the drive shaft itself and the little heat shield over the muffler so I can get to the drive shaft. And that should be it. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I went ahead and I've, I've already been working on it. Uh, I'll show you what I've taken off so far. There's a couple of hangers up in here. So I pulled the bolts out of the hanger it's super easy to do oh, I wish this thing wouldn't shut off it just shuts off on me now I can't see what I'm looking at here I need to figure out how to how to turn that off hang on I'm gonna turn this off again okay so that brought the picture back okay so I just pulled this this out of that hanger there's another one over here. Those are both 12 millimeter uh, ratchets. Then there's a couple of more hangers right here. Let's pull them off and let them hang. Another one right here. You can see I just support. I supported the. Uh, I supported that end of the exhaust with uh, with a board and a jack. Okay, so you can see there's a couple of nuts I pulled off of. Uh, I pulled the nuts off. Uh, pulled the nuts off of these studs up in there. And then this side should just be a couple of bolts with nuts on them. So you just pull them out. I've had my exhaust off recently, so mine's not too bad putting it on. So once I got that all loose, the only thing supporting it right now is this jack. So I'm about to go to the rear. Let's just shut this off. Okay, so you can see it's just on some hangers right here and there's two on each side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wheels of the jack I'm going to push this forward or backwards something like that and uh, and then I'm going to drop this exhaust down and that should be that hopefully so let's see how this goes I will let you guys watch this could be comical you never know let's see Alright, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna pull these two off. You know what? I'm just gonna drop it on down in the front. Or I can push it forwards. Oh, I gotta pull it back first. Dang. Alright, so I'm gonna pull the exhaust backwards and get it off of those studs. Is that did it? I think it did. No, it pulled. Okay, yeah, now we got it. Okay, so I dropped the front down. Now I can push this forward a little bit. Get the hangers to the end of the little hanger rods there. And then I'm just going to pull them right out. Pop. Pop. One side's down. Pop the other side. Pop. Pop. And the mufflers are off. Bam. And that's my easy way to do the mufflers. Alright, next I'm going to pull this little plate off. Which is just like eight, two, two bolts and six nuts. I'm pretty sure.
10 millimeter by the way alright you get the drift there's six more of these I'm going to pull them off and then we'll get back okay so sorry there's only six total two, two bolts and four nuts and once you get all them out hopefully this thing will pull out Without me having to undo the whole front section, but then again, maybe it won't. Oh, come on. Please work. Alrighty. Well, hopefully. Oh, come on. Okay. Plates out. Heat shields out. So, I'm hoping change this drive shaft without having to pull the front section of the exhaust so I guess next things next is to pull the actual uh, drive shaft so that's what I'm fixing to pull next is the drive shaft and oh you can't see that one can you while you're doing this make sure you pay attention to any marks or white marks or put some white marks on it so that you do, the, the drive shaft is all balanced and everything and you do not want to lose uh, its place so mark it so you can put it back the same way that it comes out if you ever need to put it back okay about to get to an exciting part I'm about to pull the last nut on the rear part of the drive shaft Come on. Of course, there's got to be one nut that's hard the whole way to get off. Get my nut off. Alright, here it comes. Damn, here it comes. <laughs> the sex jokes, right? Alright, so. Let's see what we get here. Push that bad boy through. Hopefully. Oh, come on, you stupid washer. Okay, and then the front part. Uh, maybe I'll pull the front part first. Oh, jeez. Okay, there we go. Okay, one of these is going to fall down for me. Part of the drive shaft is off. All right, let's move around here and we'll pull this section now. All right, we're gonna pull these guys here. Uh, let's get a cheap right, maybe not. Uh, all right, this little thing's gonna drop down. Pull the whole shaft out, hopefully. Oof. Come on. Quit fighting with me. So supposedly by going to a one-piece drive shaft, I'll lose about 20 pounds. I don't know if I believe that or not. Maybe. I guess 20 is feasible. Alright. Let's see what happens here. I will be able to get this whole thing out. But let's see here. Damn. Oh yeah. 
the front is out. All right, I'm gonna get my new drive shaft. I'm gonna lube it up. We're gonna stick it in. Damn, I'm just full of sex references today, aren't I? Okay. Here's the fun part. I'm not feeling particularly lucky. I bet I'm gonna have to pull these damn cats out of the way to get this thing up in there. So I greased my, I greased the splines on the drive shaft, and there are a couple of, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. The drive shaft is keyed, but it doesn't look like there's any, I don't see any wider splines than any other. So hopefully it doesn't matter. I thought it was gonna matter. There's two wider grooves inside the female part of the spline on the drive shaft, but it doesn't look like there's any wide splines on the male part, so here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. I bet I have to pull this stupid. We shall see. Let us see. There's no way it'll be this easy. I'm not that lucky. It'll be like the wrong one or something. Oh, it's not going. Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right, man, I think it's, I dare say it's in. We put a bolt through here. Let's see if this works. Uh, all right. Oh wait, did I put? No, I didn't. Okay. That and lock washer. that so I guess I've been putting on the other three three bolts man I'm good sweet okay drive shaft is in now here's my big question is the heat shield gonna go back in this is what I'm scared of we shall see this is what I think is not gonna, well, it's not anywhere near it on the top at least. Victor, Victor, we have clearance, clearance. What's up, Victor, Victor? Roger, Roger. Uh, looks like we got clearance, clearance. I don't see any problems with that. So that's good. That's super good. Put a little. Lock tight on everything. I think we're in business.
All right, I decided to show you this part. This is probably going to be a... This is always the worst part. Right, I got my jack. I got everything on my jack. Rolling that forward. I'll go straight. Stupid jack. Hey, easy jacks. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is try to get these hangers back on. Let's see how this goes. Get the other side of it. Alright. All right. That side's in. Alright. That side's in. So I'm going to pull this back so I can get my front part of the exhaust on the studs there. I'll uh, see if you can watch this. I don't know if you'll be able to see what I'm doing up underneath there. Let's see. I'm probably going to get in the way. But let's see what happens. This is the worst part right here. Uh, right. Oh, I need the uh, gaskets, dang it. I'm gonna get a couple of new gaskets. Uh, I'm gonna shut you off. Well, I get the new gas. Okay. Put on some new gaskets, even though you can reuse those. I've already reused them a couple of times. So we'll just put some new gaskets on. Alright, chore one is get these... Get this exhaust up and over those the studs. Okay, yay! Well, that could have been worse. Alright, let's get some nuts and bolts here. Oh, I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some. Never see these on here, actually. No, I think so. I'm gonna go get some never sees. Oh, sorry! I keep having good stuff. That sucks getting up and down, up and down. When you get to be an old man, it really sucks getting up and down. Okay. I'll let you guys watch the super boring part here. Which is the anesthesia part. I'm just going to put a little on here. Because why not, right? I love my anesthesia. Shit works, man. What can you say? Let's see. We're going on that side. And... Let's see. That side. If you ever have to take this mess apart, you'll appreciate the analysis. 
because it just helps, man. It helps a lot. Let's get my exhaust parts back off. If you've never used this stuff, you need to use it. But don't get it on you, man, because it gets all over everything. It gets on everything. Man, you'll be spreading that crap. When I was a kid, my dad used to bitch at me. God, he bitched at me for getting anesthesia all over the place. I'm one of those people that, if there's any oil around, I don't care if it's a drop, man. If there's any oil around, I'm going to get it all over me. That's just, I don't know, man. I guess I've always just been up in there. You know what I'm talking about? I'll just get up in that stuff. I ain't worried about it. I just get up in it. If it's nasty, I don't care. I'm all up in anything nasty. Nasty, not nasty. Whatever, man. Alright, well that went pretty good. I'm gonna tighten these things here down. And uh, hopefully we're in bits. Just need to put them Oh, come on, really? You gonna fight with me like that? Always. Why can't you just go on for me? There we go. Oh, come on. I can't get my hand up in there to hold the socket. Still. There we go. Boring, I know. Hey, but boring is usually because it's easy. Or easy is usually boring. So I'm not bitching that it's going in easily. That's probably the easiest time I think I've ever put this thing back on. I'm always ending up having to get a crowbar out to get that exhaust to line up. So I'm not complaining. That went on rather well, I think. And still got lots of clearance to the drive shaft. Man, that's a... That's not a bad job. Turning that drive shaft down. I didn't mind that too much. Uh-oh, watch this thing strip out on me now. That's what's going to happen. It's going to get me somehow or another. This stud will break off or something stupid will happen. That's my luck, man. You wait and see. Something's going to break. Something's going to break. That's how I roll. Something's going to break. You think it's going to be a... You think it's going to be a five-minute job? Those are the ones that turn into, like, four hours. You think something's going to take, like, four hours, and those are the ones that end up taking, like, five minutes. So, I'm just waiting to see... What breaks on me here? Last thing is hangers. I'll try and put this where you can see how easy these hangers are to deal with. Hopefully that doesn't move around too much. All right, let's see. We got, got these bottom ones. Let's see, I'll pull that down. Actually, I'm gonna use that jack to jack this back up. Oh, I'm gonna get my board. My big head's probably in the way. How's that? You probably can't see what I'm doing. We'll see. Let me get this jack. I'll use this jack to help raise this exhaust up and get it back on the hangers. So. Just hanging it up 
It gives me an inch. It'll be worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pop it right up. That makes it super easy. Alright, we got one in. Just need to tighten it. And... So I hope you enjoy this throwback Thursday session as much as I do. Two in. And that, as they say, is that. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Let's see. All right, guys. I gotta do is put this to clean up, put this thing back down on the ground, and I am done. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And uh, I got more coming, so I hadn't even started on my my TT project, which is coming up next. So, and I'm still not done with the slick top either. So, uh, give it a like, subscribe. Talk to you later.